we are going to make a game called seven seconds so from the home screen scroll down to games find the tutorial called seven seconds we're going to start the block tutorial the goal of this game is to press a button after exactly seven seconds that sounds fun the player starts the timer by pressing button a add the code to run code when button a is pressed I'm getting rid of on start. I'm getting rid of forever. I just need to go into input and find on button A pressed. Check the light bulb. Got it. Next, we need to remember the time when the button was pressed so that we can compute the elapsed time later on. Elapsed means how much time has gone by. Add code to store the running time in a start variable. It will look like this. Set start to running time in milliseconds. I need to click on variables. Make a variable called start set start to and running time is found in input so i don't see it at first i click on more there it is running time snap that into the zero we got it next show something on the screen so that the user knows that the timer has started they're using a checkerboard pattern so i'm going to pull out a show icon snap it in there i'm just going to use a check mark you can use whatever you want Next, the player stops the timer by pressing button B, add the code to run when button B is pressed. Go into variables, pull out on button A pressed, and I'm going to change it to button B. Let me slide everything up here. All right, next. Compute the elapsed time, that's how much time has gone by, as running time minus start and stored into a new variable elapsed. It's gonna look like this. Button B set elapsed to the running time minus the start. That's probably going to be a zero minus a zero that I'm going to have to fill in. So I go to variables, type elapsed. That means how much time has gone by. I'm going to set elapsed to, I needed the zero minus zero. And let's check again. It's the running time minus the start. So running time was an input. Snap that into the first zero. And then start was a variable. I'm going to snap that into the second zero. There you go. That's right. All right, next step. Compute the score of the game as the absolute value of the difference of elapsed time from seven seconds, which is 7,000 milliseconds. In other words, how close did I get to 7,000? It's going to look like this. Set score to absolute of elapsed minus 7,000. So I need to make a variable called score. Let me type the word score to make a new variable. So I'm going to set the score to, and let's take a look at this again. It says absolute of elapsed minus 7,000. It's purple. I'm going to check in math. Absolute of is right there. But it doesn't have a 0 minus 0. It just has one place for one number. I'm going to go back into math, pull out a 0 minus 0, and snap it right there, and that symbol 0. All right, so let's see again. I need absolute minus 7,000, or sorry, elapsed minus 7,000. Elapsed was a variable. Put that in the first zero right there, and then type 7,000. So this is going to tell me how close I got to 7,000. Double check it. Looks good. All right, next, display the score on the screen and your game is ready. So I need to show the number, which is my score. All right, so show number. Put it at the bottom, and the number I'm showing is my score. That means how close I got to 7,000. All right, let's check this. I'm going to make it big so we can see. So I press A to start it, and I'm going to count to 7 and press B to stop. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007. I stop it. 937. So I was 937 milliseconds off. Almost a whole second. That's not very good. Let me restart. 1001, Oh, I was more than a second off again. Maybe I counted too slow. Who knows? Anyway, that's how you play the game. Don't forget that when you're done, you are going to click share, publish, copy that link into Canvas for me. All right, that's it. Have a great day.